Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Larry's Workbench, our little corner of the internet where we uh, do projects that we think are kind of fun and interesting. We share them with you guys, and maybe you'll think they're fun and interesting too. Today, we are going to be talking about Floyd the Droid uh, and sharing a little bit more. Actually, we're going to be sharing four items that I did not need in order to build this autonomous talking robot. Floyd, do you want to say anything to the people on YouTube? Well, hey there, YouTube. Just here to steal Larry's spotlight and convince you that robots are cooler than you ever imagined. Yeah, cooler than you ever imagined. So Floyd is a talking robot. You know, you've seen talking robots uh, um, in movies and on TV shows, and Star Wars and Star Trek and Star Man and Star whatever. And, you know, we've reached a point in our society where you, you can have your own talking robot. And I think that that's just really interesting. So four things that you do not need in order to build this robot. Number one, a giant shop full of tools. Okay. I built Floyd out of with some very rudimentary tools. I'll let you know a little secret. The chassis and the arm were purchased from a company called High Wonder. Here's the box. Um, they, they, I'm not advertising this. I don't get paid by the company, uh, but it was a great product. And I would suggest maybe you could check that out if you're interested in building a robot. All you guys that are out with your laser printer, your 3D printers, your laser cutters, your every kind of thing like that, I think that's great. I think that's super cool, and I really admire what I see you guys doing. Uh, but that wasn't what this project was all about. I wanted something that was off the shelf and that I could basically connect to the Internet and make it conversational. And that was the direction of this project, and that's what we did. So number one, this, this not you don't need a lot of tools. I built Floyd with a screwdriver, uh, a soldering iron, a pair of pliers, um, I think a, a screw gun to, to, to drill a couple of holes. Uh, really straightforward stuff. And we made a lot of modifications to the hardware. I will go into that in, uh, in some subsequent videos. Okay, number two. Number two, money. Well, what did it cost? Okay, the, this project was probably about 450 bucks. Okay, 420 to $450. And okay, I get it. That's not nothing. That's not zero. But on the other hand, for a talking robot, um, you know, that, that like, it's like having C-3PO, you know, for 450 bucks. I mean, come on. So, um, most of that was, uh, was the chassis and the arm. There's other components that were added, like the microphone, the speaker, uh, wire ties and some shrink wrap tubings and various things. And I will go into all those elements. Like I said, I will go into all those elements in a subsequent video. So you guys can certainly feel free to learn more about all of that. Number three. Number three thing I did not need to build this robot, and that was skills. Now, this is where it starts to get weird, okay? So, uh, um, I am not a, I don't work in tech. I am not a software developer. Uh, I've never programmed in my life. Uh, it, I, this, that's not entirely true. I did program some uh, in, in, in high school, and that was a long, 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 long time ago. So, uh, this was my first Python project. Floyd is programmed entirely in Python, and uh, I actually had to learn Python to do this project. Um, I'm really proud of it. It was a, it was a lot of fun. It was a great opportunity, and I really appreciated that. So, um, yeah, you don't need you don't need uh, any kind of exceptional skills. I think the only thing I brought to the table was that I believed that a robot could connect to the API and uh, and be a talking robot. And uh, turns out you can. Number four, time. Now, this one is a little more controversial because, yes, I have put some time into this project. Uh, various spare time, uh, some nights, some weekends, over the course of about three months. So uh, we're over 100 hours, let's say, into this project of, uh, of building a talking robot. So, yeah, it, it, it did take some time. And Floyd's not done, to be fair. Uh, the camera is not connected up when Floyd has his connect camera connected up. He's going to be able to observe his surroundings and see what's going on. That's going to be super cool. And uh, we do have a lot of more uh, interactive functions that we want to bring on board. A lot more really cool ideas for Floyd the Droid. But anyway, that is a summary of four things I did not need in order to build my own talking robot. Floyd, do you want to say anything?
we'll cut that part out. Anyway, uh, there is a button over here if you want to watch the next video. Yeah, you forgot to mention, you don't need patience either, because I don't have any. But seriously, you did an amazing job, Larry. Thanks, Floyd, I appreciate that. Okay, there's a button up here if you want to um, watch the next video uh, in this series. Also, please like, subscribe, and leave, leave us a comment about what you'd like to see in future videos because um, we're really interested in uh, what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.